Wrestling fans, we're a week deep into the seventh annual Paul Bear Holiday Headlocks Toy Drives. 12 days of Christmas, something new we're trying this year. I am your humble host, Dan Marotti, along with Mr. USA, Tony Atlas. And you know why I like every time you say 12 days of Christmas? Why is that? For many, many years, as high as I could count was to 10. But being with Dan Morelli, I could count all the way to 12. See why I like having him around so much? Wonderful human being, Mr. I USA. learned 11 and I learned 12. Never knew them numbers existed. Not only do we have fun, but it's educational. Years, I didn't know them number existed. It's an educational experience. Yes, it is. Now I can count all the way to 12. All right, wrestling fans, the big night is coming. Santa's loading up that sleigh. Hopefully, Mrs. Claus has given him a little TLC to relax him before he loads everything up. Uh, well, if she do that, he ain't going to be able to load nothing. Well, we won't talk about those loads, okay. but... Santa love, Santa need love too. They, hey, you know what? With that beard. Why do you think it, he's always going ho, ho, ho? I know, right? Well, <laughs> wrestling fans, you ho, ho, can ho. play Santa Claus here in the Millennium Wrestling Federation and Boston Wrestling Sports. We have our ongoing mega raffle where one lucky fan anywhere in the world can win the entire jackpot of prizes along with our $20 merchandise bundle. It's that time of year again, and there's two great ways to help. First, we have our annual Holiday Headlocks Mega Raffle, where one lucky fan is going to win the entire jackpot of prizes. You'll get the NXT TakeOver Chicago pay-per-view chair, a variety of NXT authentic autographed posters, a Tony Atlas signed artwork print, a personal phone call from the WWE Hall of Famer himself, and dozens of more prizes including books, DVDs, autographed photos, trading cards, shakers, cups, and more. You can enter the raffle for as little as $5 and it's open to fans anywhere in the world. The winning number will be selected after SmackDown on Christmas night. You can pick up your jackpot of prizes at MWF Studios or arrange for shipment. We also have our $20 merchandise bundle available. It's a great cost-effective holiday gift. For only $20, not only do you help our Holiday Headlocks toy drive, but receive a mystery WWE t-shirt in your choice of sizes, five autograph photos, a something to wrestle with drink koozie thanks to our friend Bruce Pritchard, and an autographed Christmas card. Money raised from our endeavors goes to quote-unquote upgrade Santa Claus's GPS so we can find every kid on his list. We don't want any little guy or girl accidentally missed because of a technical error, so please do what you can to help. Whether you're just a fan of Christmas or enjoyed Paul Bearer's work with The Undertaker in WWE, this is a chance for the professional wrestling community to come together for the holidays. All that and so much more, Tony. It's great prizes. Yes, it High is. High quality. Yes, it is. You know, Boston Wrestling don't only just bring the fans a uh, uh, great history and, and, and of, of pro wrestling. They also work a great deal with the community. You know, they're very few organizations that's not in it for themselves. Uh, Dan Morella, uh, when he put this together, he didn't do it for the money. Uh, he does it because he wanted to bring wrestling uh, 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 to all the many, many fans that enjoyed it over the year. And also, he want to give back to the community. Every time I do one of these programs, Dan always said, Tony, we got to help these kids over here. We got to help these kids over here. We got to help the senior citizens here. We got to help this. We got There's always something in it for somebody other than Boston Wrestling and Dan Morella. So this is more of a communicate effort. And when Americans get together and put their heart into it, I'm sure that Boston Wrestling and the fans of Boston Wrestling would be a great access to a lot of needy, not only kids, but people in need. Well, I appreciate you saying that, Tony. You have to look at where I came from when it comes to these sorts of endeavors. Who broke me into the world of professional wrestling? Right. Our friend, the Boston bad boy, Tony, Tony Rumble. Tony Rumble. Then I had a chance to work with WWE and see how they handled Tony did a lot their... of work with the Derrick right? program yep. and the police department. He, he was a very, he was a great community a uh, 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 success, and, and Dan Morella and Boston Raster have done a great deal over the years, not alone with the help of you fans. So we, I, I hope that if you don't do it for no one, do it for old Tony. I ain't gonna be around here long, but I, but I, but I would like to know that uh, that, that 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 the fans out here that listen to us every week, we we, we help Dan you know, in his success in helping these kids and helping people in America that need help. We all Americans, and we all need a help uh, need a helping hand. Uh, uh, sometime in our life. And this is a time for us to reach out for those that, that are really going to appreciate it because it is Christmas time, you know. Well, and again, 
Thanks to Tony Rumble. Thanks to what I learned from WWE in my time there. And thanks to... And thanks to all of you out there for also, making all this possible. Paul Bear and John Cena Sr. who helped launch this. Yes. So it's not an effort of one, believe yeah. me. Without all now, the John people, Cena Sr., when I see you on the street there, buddy, I'm going to knock you down, kick you around, body slam you, pick you on my head, Throw you to the moon, and you gotta stay on the moon until the cow come and jump over the moon so we can get the milk, so we can make green cheese. John Cena, don't you let me see you walk the street. I'm making a challenge of you, baby. Is, yeah. it, is it true, Tony? And I have to ask you this one. And I know even the, the people in the back right now are getting a little concerned in the control room. Is I'm crazy. it true? What? Well, we got questioned by our good friend Mikey Aragon Robbins down uh -huh. in Willamanta, Connecticut. If John Cena Sr. got hit a little too hard and the piece fell off, would he look like you? Who, John Cena? Yeah. The piece. No, he'd be better looking at me. That's the thing. You think he'd look good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He'd be, Natural. He'd be like, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a Natural. good looking man. Yeah, he's a good looking man. Good looking so, man. That's yeah, right. Yeah, he's a good looking man. He, he could never look like me. I look like death worn over. A little Shrek. Yeah. I'm so ugly that I could scare a hungry bulldog off the meat truck. I'm so ugly that sleep have to creep up on me at night. All right, wrestling fans. You can stick my face in dough and make gorilla cookies. Head on over to bostonwrestling.com. <laughs> enter the <laughs> raffle. Get the merchandise bundles. And tonight, we're going to hear from one of Paul Bearer's peers from the mid-90s, one of his fellow managers. We're talking about the vice president of the Millennium Wrestling Federation, the man that likes to throw his hands in the air, the rap master himself, Oscar. Salute! Salute! Happy holiday. I'm Dan Marotti, of course, joined by the man on a mission himself. What a documentary we have coming your way. We're talking about the vice president of the Millennium Wrestling Federation, the man on a mission himself, Oscar. You got the turkey and the stuff and Thanksgiving and ham. As Ron Simmons here, and he would say, damn! Here we go, and we are live Thanksgiving, and we're talking about the toy drive, the toy drive, and it ain't no pause. All you got to do is call Santa Claus. We're doing good things with charity, so all you got to do is take it from me. I say it like that, and I can't dismiss. Happy Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas. Hey, there you go. We don't say happy holidays here in the Millennium Wrestling Federation, brother. Uh this is the seventh year we've done this. Uh, we like to try and say Santa Claus's GPS, for some reason, needs to be updated so we can find every kid out there on Christmas Eve. The man that we created this with back in 2012, Paul Bearer. We didn't talk too much about him in your upcoming documentary release, but any memories of Paul Bearer as one of your fellow managers in WWF? No, oh, I remember... <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time <laughs> Paul Bearer got mad because... Um, I think one of the magazines ranked me uh, 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 in the top 10 managers. I think I was like number four or something that, that week. You know how those wrestling magazines would do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, from what I understand, Paul Barrett <laughs> wasn't too, too thrilled about that at all. But other than that, um, him and The Undertaker were made for each other. I remember having a lot of pleasant conversations with uh, Paul Barrow, we used to just say Percy Pringle, and uh, he was a delight. He was a lot. I never got to be across the uh, across the ring with him because Under the Undertaker and, and Mabel matches didn't start to um, to uh, long after I left. I would have loved to have been, but he was an inspiration. He was another one of the funniest guys. Never had a problem with him, and uh, a lot of respect. And uh, well, I see you in heaven, Paul. There you go, wrestling heaven, as we like to call it. Let me ask you this. You and President David Race are great men that contribute to a variety of charities throughout the course of the year. Why is something like the Paul Bearer Holiday Headlocks Toy Drive important to you as we begin to kick off our mega raffle open to fans around the world, as well as the great $20 bundles that we offer? Because it makes kids smile and it makes them happy. We're talking about kids that they go all year not thinking they were going to get anything, you know, and they wouldn't have gotten anything. And so this just brings smiles to a lot of deserving kids. Uh, uh, it makes kids happy and joy. I'm all about the young people, so I'm glad we're able to do it. I also have to say before we go, Oscar, you and I produced one heck of a documentary in our studio shoot interview series. This holiday, if you're looking for a great gift, I mean, this must be over a three-hour 
endeavor that you and I have produced. Why would you think fans would enjoy hearing about your story from the world of entertainment, from the three years you spent at ringside, traveling the roads, traveling the globe with WWE? A lot of documentaries, people leave things out. And I think I just put everything on the table. Uh, I think you're going to get a good in-depth look of what the WWF looked like over those years through my eyes. Um, I think that I got a few entertaining stories. Uh, there are a few things that you're going to find funny. There are some things you're going to find heartbreaking. But I'm one of the individuals that really bared my soul on camera, and you're really going to find that in any documentary that you see and you'll learn something from it. It'll, it'll give people hope. It'll give people inspiration. And it'll let you know that anything's possible. And so if you really want to be inspired, if you really want to be entertained, if you really want to laugh, if you really want to get mad, if you want to cry, this is something you should see. Unbelievable fans. For complete information, click on the link below and over on bostonwrestling.com and all of our social media right now.